Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who have been incredibly patient. So very patient. Apologies for the delays, but we are back with another installment of Digimon Nova Red. You guys have been waiting patiently, and you also told me in the comments of the last installment where you would like us to go next. So, having a look at what you guys would like, as well as other comments that I've had through Discord, by the way, totally join the Discord channel today, or the links are down in the description, do it! We will be heading out to Seafoam Islands and finding out what Articuno has been turned into Digimon wise. But on top of that, we're going to do a double whammy as I will also be exploring the power plant to see what Zapdos has been turned into Digimon wise. Let's get to it. So what I've already done, I have gone back to Fuchsia City and have myself ready to go. I have accidentally pressed the menu. Why does this even exist? I haven't updated the team at all. I've given fly to Bio so I could fly back to Fuchsia City. Plus being able to fly after Seafoam to get closer to the power plant does make sense. And I've also given Surf to Droplet as we will need Surf both to get to Seafoam as well as to get to the power plant. So that's it for team changes, I guess. So what will happen is I will start my swimming adventure over to the Seafoam Islands. If I see any quirky Mon or I have any quirky fights, you're going to see it. If not, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. Made it to Seafoam, managed to dodge every single train on the way down, which was pretty darn snazzy. And on top of that, all I really bumped into was Garzimon. I don't know if there are any other Digimon around here. So if you can counter any, let me know in the comments. But now, let's enter the islands of the sea foam so for those who don't know because you may not have played the first generation of pokemon games in sea foam islands there's a puzzle if you complete the puzzle you can be awarded with gabumon yeah! yo I actually get you on the squad because this would be so dope to have a gabumon with us but we can wait a minute i've got i've got metal gray mom what if Gabumon can then go and then we have War Greymon and Metal Gurumon and they do the thing and you have Omni- ah! Come on Thunder Wave, do the trick, get the Gabu. Oh! Gabumon has got it going on. Okay, so now we have Gabumon evolves for your level up. Why did I skip it? I never skip it. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. To make up for that, I need a good name for Gabumon. Now, I'm going to call you Michael. And there's a reason why. Because G Gabumon naturally turns into Metal Gururumon, I don't know if anyone has played a game called Metal Wolf Chaos, where effectively it's the President of the United States fighting the Vice President, but the President is called Michael. <laughs> I just wanted to have a laugh with it. Like they were ever invited, they're definitely Michael! <laughs> Richard! Okay, nice one. So, as I was saying earlier, there was a puzzle to Seafoam Island involving these rocks and the holes. If you solve the puzzle, you get rewarded with bumping into Articuno. Now, obviously, in this game, it won't be Articuno, it'll be a Digi instead. So we'll be interested to find, see who the Digi is. Speaking of Digi, it's Fridgy! Ah, oh, love Fridgymon. Okay, here we go. Another Thunder Wave. Another shot. Can we get it in? Come on, Fridgy! Ooh, yay! Two for two, baby. Let's go. Don't skip the data this time. Okay, here we go. Final form for Frigimon. Lucky this Digimon is so peaceful, as it fights with the fury of the North Wind. So what do we call a Frigi? Hmm. Just going to keep it nice and simple with Frigimon. I'm going to call you Snow. Nice. Brilliant stuff. So he's already pu pushed the first rock in. Now we just need all the other rocks in. So it's a matter of just pushing the rocks down step by step until you complete the puzzle. If you start seeing me skip random battles now, it might be because I keep encountering the same mons over and over again. Yeah, I've, I've been encountering Gabby mons and Fridgy mons left, right and centre. So what I'm going to do is, I'm basically going to complete the puzzle because all you need to do is push rocks down the hole and that's it. 
and I'm going to keep doing this until we basically win and we're at Articuno. So I will see you when we reach Articuno. If I bump into anyone else while I'm here, you will see it. I'll be right back. Okay, seeing Siakamon, knowing that I've been playing Digimon Survive, is really freaking cool. Really like Siakamon. Don't know why the sprite's gone for a red shell instead of its iconic pink shell. Maybe it's a sprite coloring issue? Because normally it has a pink shell. I don't know Siakamon to have a red and black shell variant. If there is an actual variant with a red and black shell, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so I've had to make an executive decision because I'm an idiot and I forgot to bring more Pokeballs with me. I'm going to have to sadly not capture any more Digimon here. But if there are interesting Digimon here, I'm going to go out of my way and capture them after I've done this recording session just to make sure I have them in my box ready to go. So, uh, yeah, make sure you pack your balls, kids. You're going to need them. Okay, you can even get Bukamons in here. Now, that's cute. Wait a minute. If Corky's watching this, you're going to be really happy because you know what Biakumon means. That means Gomamon. Goma boy confirmed. I'm sorry, what? Bumping into a wild Lady Devimon in here. I mean, she's as cold as ice. She's ready to sacrifice my love. Ooh. I, I mean, I guess so, right? Digi titties. Okay, so we've done part one of the rock puzzle, and part one of the rock puzzle allows you to come here, where you have to do part two of the rock puzzle. And I've seen Articuno sprites, so the sprite on the overworld looks exactly the same, which is understandable. But now I'm very intrigued. I also need to be very careful, because I remember as a kid, I really screwed this up once, and I'm like, no! No, mother! No! So I'm hoping this time round, I really don't screw it up. Dolphmon! hey oh, perfect timing for you to show up. I didn't see you earlier, buddy. You're looking great. Very Dolph. Okay, we found Articuno. Now, I didn't mean to bring up a menu. God damn it. Now I'm going to save the game, just in case of any crazy shenanigans happening. And we are about to see what Articuno has been turned into in Digimon Nova Red? Place your bets in the comments. Like, pause the video here. Place your bets in the comments. And then after we see the reveal, write an update to your comment saying if you were right, wrong, or shocked. Three, two, one. Let's encounter Articuno. Behold! It's... Hex Blaumon? What? I, I, out of all the Digimon I could have ever thought of it being, I, I didn't even comprehend Hex Blaumon. What the hell? You look insane. Talk about an ice infused edgelord. This is amazing. Okay. I want to save the Master Ball for a very special encounter at the end of the game. I want to see what Mewtwo's basically been turned into, but. Let's go. I'd rather be ultra balling. Come on, Hexplow. Come on, Hexplow. First ball! Are you get in my balls? Not those. <laughs> wow! First try. Wow. <laughs> Let's check this out. Ah! 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 Final form, this legendary Digimon shatters foes with blasts of absolute zero. I never saw it. <laughs> you were just using barrier and agility all the time, but I tell you what. Freaking awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. I know exactly what I'm calling you because of how you look. You will now be called Gundam because you freaking look like one. Let's go. Well... Did you guys guess Hex Blaumon correctly? I know I bloody well didn't. But you should wait right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of Seafoam Islands. I'm going to fly on over to where we can start swimming over to the power plant. And I'll see you there. Next is Zapdos.
or whoever heck Zapdos is going to be. Okay, ladies and gents, we are here. We have flown to the Pokemon Center outside of Rock Tunnel, and we are now going to surf down this body of water and head on over to the power plant. Again, if you've never played Gen 1, you may have never known, but if you actually went this way, you'll find the power of the plant. I'm not going to fight that trainer, because he's just very sus, and he's just going to sit there going, oh, if only a random boy would come over and encounter me. Isn't that right, Freeman? I, I don't know why he sounds like the purple guy from Half-Life, but I guess it works. Alrighty, power plant to death. I want you guys to do the same thing that we did with Articuno, but instead, I'm going to do it at the beginning. So, put a comment down in chat for what you think Zapdos is going to be turned into Digimon-wise. And then when we encounter Zapdos, I want you to pause the video again, update your comment with whether you are correct or not, and your reaction. Keep that in mind. Right, let's also go for the power plant. And if I encounter anything funky, well, you guys, you're, you're going to see it. Don't know why. I screwed up saying that. English is hard, okay? English is so very hard. What's over here? Wild Andromon? This place is... This is my house. This is my kind of house. I can deal with this. Full team of Andromon, let's freaking go. This gets me thinking, if Andromon's here and Zapdos is going to be randomized, it's got to be... It's got to be a electric-based Digimon. Not a Lekmon, even though we have seen Lecky. Lecky's a good mower. Lecky is a good boy. Just gets me thinking, are we possibly going to see... I don't think it would be Datamon. Oh yeah, the Voltorbs! <laughs> Bomber Nannymons? Oh, it makes sense. That's a good transition. That That's a good one. That's very, very good. It gets me thinking, is it maybe going to be M1 Andromon? Because Andromon M1 is pretty darn awesome. Yet again, there's a part of me that would love it to be Machine Drummon. And it would make sense in a place like this. Give me Machine Drummon. Yet again, would the game give you a Machine Drummon knowing that Giovanni probably has Machine Drummon? Knowing that Lance will probably have Machine Drummon? I, I don't know. Is the game going to be like that? Man, there's so many questions. I mean, Hex Blaumon was completely out of the blue, so... It could be someone out of the blue as well. It's another Thunder Boy! Yes! Alright, guys, have you placed your bets down in the comments? I hope you have. Because we are about to encounter the Zappy Boy. Three, two, one. Zapdos... Behold! Zapdos is... What the fucking Goldramon? Yo! <laughs> wow! I was completely wrong. I would have never fought Goldramon. This is so sick. Oh, wow. Look at that sprite. Big fighty boy. Let's go. Do not want him to get the Omni Boost if I can help it. Uh, Ominous Wind. Try and go for it. Agility, that's fine. You're speedy, speedy golden boy. Ominous window. This shouldn't do too much. This is exactly why we saved the game, folks. I'll be back in a moment for attempt number two. God damn it, Feynag, you're too strong. Maybe now you join us, oh gold lord. Please do not back down, for I am a humble follower of the golden way. He believes! He believes in the golden way! Hallelujah! Praise the gold! Oh, wow. Freaking Goldramon. Can't believe it. This god Digimon, or this god dragon Digimon, has six hardened wings and a body that shines gold. I love gold! Oh, my lord. Just because of that reference I made? I have the best name for him. It had to be done. It had to be done. Austin Powers fans out there, you know exactly what this is from. It's Gold Member. Talk about nuts. The power plant and sea foam have been be freaking beautiful. Let's go. Okay, so sea foam has been done. Power plant has been done. New legendary boys have been gotten. 
which is freaking great. So the plan now is to go to Cinnabar Island. And this is where you're going to see me visit my mum, get healed up, and then go to Cinnabar. You see, guys, there's something you need to know. When we reach Cinnabar Island, we're going to be able to do the one thing we haven't been able to do so far. And that is to find out who our fossil boy is. We've had our fossil since the very beginning of the game. We do not know who the fossil boy is. So what I want you to do in the comments, as well as all the other bits I've asked you to do in the comments, put your suggestions down there for what name our fossil boy should be. Knowing full well that we aren't going to know what the fossil is until the next episode to see if we can get a really nice name going. And just like that, I got here. Pretty straightforward, nice and easy. And this is where we're probably going to leave the episode. It'll be a nice, short and sweet, back to basics episode for Digimon Nova Red. But we have two new legendary boys. If you want me to use them on the squad, please let me know. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we're going to end things here. Let me know your fossil boy names down in the comments. And whilst you are down there, consider hitting that subscribe button so that you join along for the rest of the ride. We're getting close to the last stages of the game with only two gym badges left to go for Victory Road and then, of course, the Elite Four and Champion fights. And while you're down there, you can check on the description for all my other social media platforms that you could be a part of today, including Discord, where I am the most active and you get one-to-one -one interaction with me and many others to share in your other gaming adventures, and also Twitch, where I live stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday for your enjoyment, so why don't you come on down and get explosive with us? I do apologize for the delay, guys. But we're back on ball with Digimon Nova Red episodes. Hopefully, there's a lot more coming, and you will get to see how this all ends up. But until next time, folks, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay awesome, and most importantly, stay explosive. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Have a good one.